Oh, hey, everybody, it is December 29th, and it's about 6.30 in the evening here in Saginaw, Michigan. It is not too bad temperature-wise, though. We had a sleet and snow yesterday, and so uh, we finally got snow. It was too late for a white Christmas, but, but we finally got snow, and as far as I'm concerned, it can go away as quickly as possible. I haven't asked you on a walk with me in a while now because, um, let me explain, last June I got hit with a copyright strike which was really stupid but um, I got the uh, address and everything to, from uh, YouTube to try and make the, the whole situation right and it would have except for one thing the address that they gave me and insist is the address that I needed Nobody exists at that address, and certainly not the person that they told me was there. And I was pretty upset for a while, and then I, I started thinking, well, why not work within the parameters that you've got? But you, you, for, for a one-time strike, you still get six months where you can't post videos longer than uh, 15 minutes. Well, I decided the other thing I could do is work within those parameters. I could have fought it. But sometimes you ever just get sick of fighting. Every, there's so many things go wrong in everyday life, and you get tired of fighting, you know? So the uh, restriction actually ended up helping me quite a bit because I found that I can do shorter videos of my own productions um, and get more hits um, for the short videos than I was getting for the longer videos. And I was getting pretty good on the long videos. And still did during that time of uh, restriction. But I made an awful lot of videos in that six month period. I'm thinking probably a couple hundred. And um, an awful lot of you clicked on them and, and watched them. I know myself when I'm looking at YouTube, I'll see a video that's maybe mm, a couple minutes long. And I'm more inclined to. To click on that with the time that I have available than I am one that's say even 15 minutes long but um, I only had a few that ran over eight minutes that I did in that six month period but comparatively my views a year ago as opposed to my views today and having taken that six month uh, period into consideration I got a lot more views on my new short videos so I'm going to continue doing those. I, I probably will go back to putting some more radio programming on here. I, I love old time radio and I take it a lot of you do too. And um, I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of programs. Probably thousands. Um, and so I may in time get back to, to doing you know, more radio on here again. But in, in, you know, for myself I, I get a personal satisfaction. Out of, even though my uh, technical uh, prowess isn't that great, I get a lot of satisfaction out of doing the, the videos that I do. Most of my life I've made my living off from writing and being published. And in the last six or seven years, I've kind of gotten away from that because of physically how I feel and then sometimes it gets me very, very depressed how I feel. But I, I find that writing these short scripts and doing these uh, short videos gives me a sense of fulfillment, really even stronger than I got from my writing. I'm kind of looking at some ideas for new things to do here shortly. Um, I'm thinking of, of trying to do a, a live streaming program uh, on a monthly basis. If I do, it'll begin probably late February, early March. Um, I'm lining up people right now that I'd like to talk to and I think would be of interest to uh, most of my viewers. And so I'm looking at that. I'm going to start also doing another video series uh, probably weekly um, where it's welcome to my apartment. And I want you to come in and feel at home and I want to show you some of the collections and things that I have around the apartment because most often when anybody comes in my apartment that hasn't been there before they go my god it's like you live in a museum 
And it kind of is because I have an awful lot of collections of a lot of different uh, artifacts, relics, antiques, you know, what have you, whatever. Uh, I'd say about 90% of them are ones that I've gone out and found or have been given to me by friends because um, I really can't go out and dig anymore because of how bad my back is. Um, it's hurting just even walking like this. I'm having a difficult time. Um, so if you have suggestions of programming you'd like to see or you'd like to uh, have me think about making, I sure would love to hear from any or all of you. Uh, I hope that you all had a, had a great Christmas. My Christmas stayed in line with what the rest of the year was like. Shitty, excuse me for putting it that way. But uh, I felt good Christmas Eve, but Christmas morning I woke up and with every time I'd wake up and move, I would have to throw up. And it was a <laughs> it was a hellish Christmas day. But Christmas Eve was great. I got to go out Christmas shopping. It's the first time I could do that in about five years. I mean, have finally a few bucks left over to, to shop for something for David and to shop for something for myself. And so David and I went out and we went with a couple of friends of ours who offered to give us a ride and we bought them dinner, um, you know, in repayment for that and had a, had a fine time with dinner. I actually bought the recorder that I'm using right now. I bought with my Christmas money because last summer I, I was using a recorder just like this that I loved and I'd only had it a few months. And I was having a cup, a, or a bowl of cereal and old fumble fingers here somehow my recorder ended up in the bowl of cereal and milk and as much as I dried it out and tried I just not, could not resuscitate it so I, I went back to using an older recorder of mine which didn't have very good sound quality uh, for a small recorder I'm happy with the sound quality on this one and the amount of time that you can record um, so that's really cool. And then I got myself <laughs> uh, a pen that lets you draw in 3D. You uh, you have to, I guess, see it from to understand. I wouldn't. I can't really explain how it works, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a video with that, so so you can all see it. It was. It, it's made for younger kids, but some of us never grow up a whole lot, and I guess that's the case with me because. I got it for me. David picked out for himself a bunch of CDs, or DVDs, excuse me. Um, he's hard to buy for, even for himself to buy for himself, because he didn't know what he wanted to get. Now, I know he got something other than the CDs, or DVDs, excuse me, but I can't remember what. A neat thing happened, though, on Christmas Eve. Um, you might want to check out my video on it. It's, uh, I uh, titled something like Two Fascinating Fossils on Christmas Eve um, because <laughs> I, I find stuff just about wherever I go and uh, one of the friends that took David and I had to run into Big Lot or Save a Lot, excuse me and get a gallon of milk so I sent David in with her to get a gallon of chocolate milk for him and uh, I got out and was looking through the the rocks there in the uh, landscaping and lo and behold I found one of the nicest really nicest and most unusual jellyfish fossils I've ever found and I found quite a few of them here in Saginaw County but this one is really unique it looks like a bunch of fossilized little uh, frog eggs in a gelatinous mass but um, they're not frog eggs it is definitely jellyfish and then and then uh, I found a, a second jellyfish that was inside of a nodule and anyways both of those are, are on the, uh, the video if you care to check it out I think you all might enjoy it let's see is there anything else I want to say to catch you all up and uh, like I said it's been a long time since I've done this video or I mean a recording like this where you go on a walk with me golly I guess that's about it. There's a lot of stuff that I could complain and whine and cry about, but there wouldn't be any sense, I guess, in doing that. Um, I'm feeling pretty good except my back and shoulders. And walking like this right now, my back is almost enough to bring tears to my eyes. But uh, it's good to be able to take, to still be able to walk some. The doctor told me I would probably be in a wheelchair within a couple years. 
and uh, not looking forward to that. But sometimes I think God let me start doing these short videos so that I can keep doing videos and occupy myself after I end up in a wheelchair. Um, you don't have to go out digging for anything. No. You just look for whatever interests you. I find at thrift stores and yard sales a lot of old books and magazines and photographs and what have you. And if I figure if they're interesting to me, they'll be interesting to somebody else. And so I do a, a video of them, which I might add. Um, I just put one up tonight called The Iron Horse, which is a series of still pictures from a 1921 movie uh, from William Box Productions. And I just bring this up because that's how I obtained these photographs. I found a, a book that of the based on that uh, movie that was actually published in 1921 too and uh, it had the scenes in it from the, the movie. The book was in deplorable condition. Pages were missing and it was all beat up but I picked it up because I figured I'd do a video with it sometime and pack at you know at 50 cents what have I got to lose hey? <laughs> so well I'm almost to my destination so I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off here I hope that you all have, and yours, you and yours, all have the most incredibly awesome new year possible. And I will keep all of you and my nation in my prayers. And I'd ask you, too, to please keep me in your prayers, especially with the situation with pain. I appreciate every one of you viewers, and uh, I pray God's blessing on you. Well, that's about it for this time. Have a great night, and God bless. Bye-bye.